far in the distant future, there lives a creature too horrifying to behold. Avert your eyes from the Mute Talker. Super Hopped Up presents Month of Spoops 2020. The most terrifying year of our generation. Play. Now we're playing with power, folks. Let's go. You're kind of like in the dark. You're like half spooked out here. I'm scared already. I ain't scared of nothing. We got okay. no lights on in here. Okay, we got to introduce ourselves. Spooky video camera. Um, Cat, who are you? I'm Cat. Chris, how are you? I'm I'm me. Uh, woo. Oh, ah, there we go. Okay. Uh, this is this is super hopped up. Uh, month of spoops. Uh, and and this is the uh, the anatomy social experiment. It's just a social experiment, bro. Um, I have no idea what this game is. Kelly said, uh, hey, you should play this. He handed it to me in a manila envelope before running away screaming. Um, it was full of blood and also this game. So I'm sure it's fine. Um, Wait, what? It's cool. It's fine. Don't worry about it. That's really weird, Kelly. Yeah, he would do that. Um, <laughs> something about a witch's curse, but he always talks like that. Mm. Um, yeah. So what's the plot of this game? Do you know? Uh did you not see the the VHS tape that sound that went in and all these people kind of buy a table? Oh. The story speaks for itself. Hmm. Okay. Um. Hey, space bars jump. There you go. Hey, those cats are dead. Oh. That's, That's pretty, too bad. I love a good like VHS video effect. You know. That's also pretty cool. Oh. Uh, we need more art like this in our apartment. Doors closed. Doors closed. You don't see doors that are this big anymore, you know? Just like the real wide ones. Yeah, I mean... Uh, that's a... Alright, well... Haha! -ha, I have a gun. Cassette gun. Um. <laughs> Here we go. In the psychology of the modern civilized human being, it is difficult to overstate the significance of the house. Mm -hmm. Just as early as the Neolithic era, humankind has defined itself by its buildings. Buildings for worship. Buildings for socializing. Buildings for protection, even buildings yes. for the commemoration of the dead. But of all the structures that mankind has invented for itself, there is little doubt that the house is that which it relies upon most completely for its mm. continued survival. Mm. I don't know. I think water slides are kind of the best thing that we've ever done. But <laughs> There's a tape in the dining room. Oh, okay. I guess we got to go to the dining room, right? I think that's the plan. I'm just going to jump. If I jump enough, maybe I'll level up my jump skill. Um, dining room. That's usually downstairs, right? Yeah, in the basement, typically. That's That'd be fucked right up. next to the laundry machine. I don't like that and idea. the boiler. I don't like the idea of a basement dining room. <laughs> that would it's be perfect the, for candles, you know? That would be the most cult shit I've ever seen in my life, in fact. <laughs> well, I guess dining room's upstairs. The kitchen's downstairs, though. What like What That's is this, weird. like, servant's hall shit? Strange. I like this artwork, though. It's really creepy. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's all just like bugs, isn't it? Ooh. Ooh, what? Yeah. Is this like some like Carmen San Diego shit? <laughs> like, can you figure out where the dining room is? <laughs> you know what? I have a feeling these uh, pieces of art are like a clue for the game. Hmm. Uh, like, maybe. if you add up all of the insects, what does it equal? That's 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 some new math shit i i learned i learned math like the old way like we just added and subtracted we didn't kind of try to add like oh Ooh. god found the dining yeah, room dining room it's a dark dining room this dining room sucks anything in the cabinet i know that it's I know real that like mid-century modern feel you know is this where the other thing is is this like a different room no this is this is a tv room hmm. it's where that picture of people are Mm. I keep expecting to look back and have the picture be like winking at me. Yeah. All right. Got my cassette gun back. All right. Go pop it in the player. Pew pew. Ooh. The house is one of the key elements that separates modern humanity from its more primitive antecedents. No mm. other creature goes to such lengths to create lasting, permanent shelter for itself. Like insects. Nor regards said shelters with such reverence. Insects have badass houses. Why do human beings of our modern age foster this tremendous sympathy toward their homes? There are many reasons, of course, but perhaps it is due in some small part to seeing them as a reflection of ourselves. 
All right. Is the is the house gonna be like like am I, like is the house alive? Am I am I eaten by the house? It's a reflection of yourself. Well, I don't want to know what a reflection of myself is. <laughs> that was easy. All right. Well, close the door. Wait. Do you have a reflection? If you don't, maybe you're a ghost. I mean, if by reflection you mean I am a dot, <laughs> then yes. I am a. You I'm, are a ghost. I'm hey, painted. I'm a. I'm a poltergeist. Oh, why did I close that? I didn't have to go to the bathroom. Play it again, Charlie. The anatomy of the house is such that this analogy is less superficial than at first it may seem. To carry it further, if we were to dissect a house as we might a human cadaver, we would find ourselves able to isolate and describe its various appendages and their functions mm. in a decidedly anatomical fashion. There is even a fair number of direct comparisons to be drawn between those organs of a house and those of a human body. You're in the heart of the home. So every time I'm going to come in from here from now on, I'm going to stand on the on the table and I'm going to crouch in this defensive gesture just to make sure that no spooks and 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 spooks and spookums can come get me. But isn't that why we're here today? I, I listen. Just because you got ganked by the spooks, don't mean I'm going to get. Ganked. I got real got by the spooks. Yeah, I am. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. In the words of, I believe it was. Uh, I believe it was Sanguini. I believe it was one of the old. Uh, I'm trying to remember the name of like an old philosopher, and I'm failing. John so, F. Kennedy. I believe it. Yeah, in the words of John Hinckley Jr., I ain't scared of no ghosts. Um, let's see what's in the garage first. Okay. Mm. Uh, turns out nothing. Hmm. Okay. Oh, what's over there? Just kidding. A washer dryer in the garage. I guess that makes sense. Pick it up. Come on, let's go. It's one of those big houses that you could buy off minimum wage. Yeah. This is this is this is just like this is this, a horror a horror uh, game definitely. <laughs> yeah, this 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 game the horror is that just millennials can't have this. You'll never be able to as a millennial to walk around in your house and get scared by cassette tapes. Often the dominant space of a house is ground level, as well as typically the center of activity in a well populated home. The living room is very much the heart of the house. While a human heart circulates blood to oxygenate the body's extremities, the living room circulates people, activity communication. It is the room most likely to be found beating, as active and vivacious as its name would imply. The comparison is only strengthened when we consider also that the living room is most commonly the room to contain the fireplace, making it additionally a locus of actual physical heat. I bet you're going to find a heart or something in the living room. All right, let's go beat off in the living room. Well, that was kind of funny. Come on. <laughs> I was like trying to process. That. I was like, wait, what? He said that it's the, the living room is the is the beat off heart of the of the house. And so I'm going to go do what the tape said. Yeah. Listen, I, I will say this to someone who has an arts degree. Um, this this entire like person speaking on the thing. This sounds like someone who's desperately trying to 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 validate their their Ph.D. thesis. <laughs> It is easy to think of the kitchen and dining room as the stomach or digestive system of a house, though this comparison is tenuous. By contrast, the function and analog of a bathroom should be immediately obvious. The hallways and corridors of a house are its veins, providing circulation coursing throughout its frame. A staircase bears more than a passing resemblance, both physically and symbolically, to a spine. The windows of a house serve much the same purpose as eyes, and anyone who has ever rounded a bend or a long drive and come suddenly face to face with a tall, dark manor will tell you that it is difficult to shake the impression that the house, through its lightless windows, is a creature capable of vision and intelligence. I mean, I do agree that there's nothing more, like, low-key, psychically damaging than just, like, uh, a, a sub a suburban house that cost the owners like eighty thousand dollars in the seventy in like <laughs> Spunksville, Ohio, or something like that is that truly is like a, a depraved thing. It's it's profane. It surely is. The bedroom is perhaps the room that most eludes direct comparison in this fashion. At a stretch and allowing for a bit of poetic sympathy, it might be said that the bedroom is not unlike the human mind. Or those parts oh, I of it which dictate thought and imagination. In the bedroom, <laughs> dreams are dreamt, passions are ignited, 
Listen, I don't know what you do in a bedroom, but I am I am a pure Christian boy. In the bedroom is where people invariably spend the majority of their time. Waiting for marriage. Anyways. Is it in the bedroom? You damn skippy. You're unconscious in the bedroom. <laughs> yeah, you know, consenting adults and all that. Let's go. Um where are just boops? I know I, I I know this game is like it's supposed to be sort of more of like a psychological like dread thing than it is like oh fuck there's this there's the spooper man. Ah, uh, I the, see. Like not like the game I made you play. Um <laughs> Yeah, this feels uneven. Listen. Uh, I have nothing uh, if not even. This game does feel like at some point in time something's going to try to fuck me up. I'm, I'm like we saw we saw the um, like the warnings of this game. There are like strobing lights and shit apparently. So Yeah, it said like body horror, didn't it? Yeah. On a long enough, on a long enough timeline, everything will spoop us, I guess. Um so like by being reminded of that actually, my uh my heart rate has actually gone up about a good like 6 or 7 BPM. So oh. Yeah, I'm sure at some point in time. Or is it because you're going up and down all these stairs? I don't like stairs, man. Listen, like God, God designed things to be on on one floor. All right, <laughs> everything else is just purely yet, against this nature. This analogy is an incomplete one, for obviously the mind is an exceedingly complex thing. If the bedroom represents the thinking, dreaming part of the brain, then it mm-hmm. is the basement that represents those lower, unconscious parts. Mm-hmm. The basement is dark. It is buried. <laughs> it is a place full of cobwebs where memories are stored. A poignant comparison, truly. Often the unnerving uncertainty that comes with considering the deeper aspects of the human psyche is not unlike gazing down at the swimming blackness pooled at the bottom of a basement stairwell. It is a place we spend our childhoods filling with monsters that will lay for years in patient silence. It is a place that, barring some specific errand, we seldom ever want to go. Cat, I don't want to go into the fucking basement. Hmm. Glad we live in an apartment on the fifth floor. Like what? I I don't I don't get it though. Like my basement when I was a kid was like my favorite place because like it was, there was no there was no natural light for one. That's a plus. Uh, for for two, like it's where the video game stuff was. Like I I don't understand people's weird fears of the basement. That's where I play Super Mario. <laughs> That's where I stepped on a nail and it went through my foot. That sucks. You shouldn't have nails in the in the in the basement. No, it was great. And then there was like a bloody footprint that went all the way up the stairs. <laughs> Dude, I was like five years old. Why are you doing to me right now? What are you doing to me? <laughs> I'm trying to paint a good picture for you. You I know, don't, I don't it's like... poop time. Nope, that's the bathroom. Are you a li- no? You're you're the you're the living room. Am I lost? Cat, this house isn't that big. How uh, did I get lost? You're in the kitchen. I know. Found the kitchen. I know. I know. I'm in the kitchen. Backyard. Is this the girl? Is that bathroom? No, the, here staircase? We go. Oh, basement. Maybe. Was there audio before? Here we go. Oh, what was that? I don't just like kidding. This. I think it was just a spot on the screen. I think we've already been down here, haven't we? No, this is... We've not been to the basement yet. Oh. This game's good. I, I have that, that tension in my throat right now, and I don't like yeah. it. Oh, it goes. Ah! Ah! Oh, oh, it's just the thing on the wall. Okay. <laughs> Is it going to be going forever now? Or are we here? Okay. 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 Yeah, it's like really silent and creepy. That was more than I thought it was like that. I didn't like that. It's a very heavy-handed one. And often the basement is little more than a storage space littered with the corpses of spiders and wood lice. While poets and psychoanalysts no doubt dread the thought of a dark basement, in truth, it is the bedroom, the waking mind, that place of dreams. It is actually the most frightening of all. Ooh, the master bedroom. I don't really like this anymore. Why not? When are we going to get to the fireworks factory? <laughs> hmm. Yeah, they do a really good job at making their rooms look really vast and unending.
Oh, well, now What's we're trapped. What's that glowing thing on the wall? Hmm. hmm. Oh, weird. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Just a bunch of teeth. Well, now we're trapped. Well, you know, it's a teeth. It was here, in the bedroom, that we are at our most vulnerable. Uh -oh. Each night, we shut our senses to the world for hours at a time, trusting in the house to keep us safe until next we wake. In this state of extreme vulnerability, we will spend something like 20% of our lives. Mm. Anything might stand beside us, watch us, mm. keep us company until dawn, and we would never perceive it. We can only pray that the house will not let such things carry on as we sleep. In this way, during these hours, the bedroom seems less like a mind and more like a mouth. For it is here that the house is most likely to betray us. It is here that we place ourselves most at the house's mercy and spend each night hoping that it will not bite down. Ah! Damn, folks, I do be hating when a mouth betray me. Oh, that was the end of the game? That was it. Oh. All right. That was kind of cool. Yeah. Nothing really actually happened, but like... It got you on edge. I felt it. I felt yeah. it. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right, that was another spoop. Spoops.